Hi everyone, my name is Lucia Zagumis and I am the author of this book called Together Apart, Life During the Coronavirus. I decided to read this book because it's very timely and it's a book that talks to all children about their temporary reality and what we're all living through right now during the coronavirus um, and how although we are apart, we can still be together and that's why the book is titled Together Apart. And it's been illustrated by my mother, Canadian artist Katerina Mertika. So the book is filled with beautiful images that I hope brings you some happiness and joy. One day I was at school learning, playing, and anxiously waiting for March break to begin. My friends and I were so excited we could barely pay attention in class. Our March break plans changed though. After we got home from school, our parents told us there was a virus going around called COVID-19 or coronavirus that was making many people sick all over the world. It was especially bad for people like our grandparents. School was canceled for a few weeks and we spent March break at home with our family. To stay as healthy as we could, we were told it was important to wash our hands with soap and water a lot, 20 seconds every time. To help us remember how long that was, we sang the happy birthday song two times whenever we washed our hands. We found out we had to stay home from school even longer. At first we were excited to have an extra long March break, but after a while it made us feel sad because we really missed our friends and teachers. We started doing schoolwork at home and we had video calls with our whole class. It was really nice to see everyone again, even if it wasn't in person. Scientists were working hard around the world to find a vaccine and cure for this virus. We even had to wear masks and gloves to protect ourselves. We were learning more and more every day by watching the news, talking about it with our family, and reading a lot of articles. Sometimes we got sad and worried and even scared. On sad days, our parents reminded us that we were staying home to help flatten the curve. By staying home, fewer people would get sick at the same time, which meant doctors and nurses would be able to care for the people who were in the hospital. We were helping to slow the spread of the virus by staying home. This made me feel good because we all had a really important part to play in helping things get back to the way they were before. Even though we were practicing physical distancing, we were allowed to go outside for walks around our neighborhood and for bike rides. We had to remember to keep a two meter distance from other people who were outside. Parks were closed to help everyone stay safe and healthy, but we still enjoyed the fresh air, even on rainy days. We kept busy by playing a lot of board games, reading books, and finishing projects around the house, like organizing our rooms. We watched way more movies than usual and had a lot more screen time so that we could talk to and play games with our friends. Life was different, but we were okay because we were together, eating dinner as a family, baking and enjoying more relaxed days. It wasn't easy, but every day we found something that brought us joy like talking to our grandparents on the phone, like going for bike rides, like baking cookies, like finishing a book, like laughing together. Scary times don't have to be so scary when we're all together, helping our city, our community, and the world. It felt good that by staying home, we were all helping each other, together but apart. <laughs>